your church in Great Britain and our church here in America is under the jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople, modern-day Istanbul, Turkey. What is the role of the Ecumenical Patriarchate as leader of worldwide orthodoxy as we approach the 21st century? I see the role of the Ecumenical Patriarchate to be a center of unity. As we know, the Orthodox Church is a family of churches, and these different member churches, the sister churches of the worldwide Orthodox Catholic Communion, are each self-governing. The Ecumenical Patriarchate makes no claim to exercise direct jurisdiction outside its own boundaries. But it can serve as a focus and center of unity. However, it does this not through the exercise of superior power, not through coercion, but through free consultation. I would see the role of the ecumenical patriarch as opening up ways of cooperation, suggesting possible means of shared action to the other sister Orthodox churches. But they freely agree to work with him in this. He does not seek to impose anything on them. Orthodoxy works on a conciliar principle through consensus. So exactly the ecumenical patriarch is a center of unity, but not in the way that the Pope is. We shouldn't try to make the ecumenical patriarchate into a kind of papacy. That's contrary to the orthodox approach. The orthodox approach has as its model the council, the first council of all being the church gathered in the upper room on the day of Pentecost. Many people meeting freely under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So the ecumenical patriarch is the first among the orthodox hierarchs, but he is the elder brother, not the ruler. So his role is to make suggestions, to invite the others to express their views, to invite them to common meetings, so that together in a conciliar way, joint means of action throughout the Orthodox world can be worked out. Now this role is needed today more than ever before. In the past, where most Orthodox churches were state churches, they could survive in comparative isolation. Communications anyway were difficult. Today we live in a world where there's instant communication and there's far greater need, therefore, for consultation, shared action. So I see the ecumenical patriarch as facilitating meeting face to face among the Orthodox. He is an animator, not an autocrat. That would be the way I understand it. And from all that I've heard of Patriarch Athenagoras, Patriarch Demetrius, and our present Patriarch Bartholomew, this would be the way they understand it too. I was delighted, for example, when the present Patriarch, His All Holiness Bartholomew, soon after his election, invited the heads of the other Orthodox churches to meet at Constantinople and to talk together. That seemed to be exactly the role the Patriarch of Constantinople is called to do. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm much impressed by the initiatives taken by Patriarch Demetrius and now by Patriarch Bartholomew in the field of ecology, the protection of the environment, reverence for creation. And here, of course, the patriarch's role extends far beyond the orthodox world 
and indeed beyond the Christian world. But that again seems to be the kind of initiative our ecumenical patriarchate should be taking. With everything you've just said in mind, these initiatives, this elder brother, mm. we must realize that there are certain restraints and the atmosphere is not really conducive for the center of worldwide orthodoxy in Istanbul, Turkey. In fact, it is yes. uh, a Muslim country. Mm. Many have offered their opinion that the ecumenical patriarchate should move from Constantinople to another part of the world so it may carry out its mission without any restraints. Your feelings on that, Your Grace? Let me say two things. First, if the Patriarchate were to move, it would still remain the Ecumenical Patriarchate. Some people have suggested if it moves from the city of Constantinople, then it loses its existence. I don't see it that way. We have an um, interesting parallel from the Patriarchate of Antioch. For many centuries, the Patriarch of Antioch has not lived in the city of Antioch. He's lived in Damascus. Antioch, indeed, is within Turkey. Damascus is within Syria, so that he's living from the point of view of a civil state in another country. But no one has ever suggested that this meant that he lost his status as Patriarch of Antioch. So it is certainly possible for the Ecumenical Patriarch to move and still to remain Ecumenical Patriarch. Then the second thing, I hope he will stay at Constantinople as long as he possibly can, because he is not just the ecumenical patriarch, the spiritual leader within worldwide orthodoxy, the elder brother, the first among equals. He is also a local bishop. He is Archbishop of the city of Constantinople. He has a local flock. He has a pastoral responsibility to them. If, against his will, he is forced to leave, then he has no choice, no alternative. But surely, as long as he has a choice, he will want to be among his people. When I've visited Constantinople, I have been impressed to see how much of the Patriarch's time is spent visiting the parishes and the communities for the Divine Liturgy, for other community events. He is very much the pastor of a local flock, and long may he continue to be exactly that.